Yeah. So let's jump forward to that then. So, yeah. you know, you're 40 years in kind of the corporate world, you're doing this. And one day, if I read correctly, you get called into a meeting. Long story short, this <laughs> meeting is your exit interview. And one of the things that I would love to hear from you, um, that from doing some of my research, sounds like you did this in a pretty quick and resourceful way is, you know, you had the exit interview, get laid off. And I think a lot of people find themselves in that place of like being problem oriented, right? Oh, I, I don't have a job. I don't have this. I don't have that. I'm, and it seems like rather quickly you went from problem mode into solution mode of, okay, this is what happened. What is next? And that's when I think you went into some of the consulting stuff. So I'm curious if you can just walk us through like what was going through your head at, throughout that process as, you know, 40 years you're doing this, you have this exit interview and, and, and kind of fill us in from there. Yes. Um, I think my mind, my mindset is, is important here because um, no, I wasn't, wasn't really prepared to get the heave ho. Um, yeah. But th that was probably naive on my part. I mean, I, I, uh, um, that that last job that I had, um, we had a new CEO had come in earlier in the year. Um, the old CEO was the gentleman that had hired me years mm. before that, and I uh, I just adored him. He was just an amazing yeah. individual. So the new CEO, there was no way he could live up to that, um, and frankly, he didn't even come close to living up to it. He he was. He was quite dreadful in my opinion. Yeah. And I don't think I hid that as best as I could. <laughs> yeah. So I should have known that the door was waiting for me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But, but still, I was surprised. You know, someone comes up to you late on a Friday afternoon and um, asks what you're doing. And I said, oh, just out the door. I'm going to meet my wife for dinner. Um, hey, could you just jump in this room for a moment for a meeting? Um and, I, and my answer was, no, I really don't have the time. <laughs> huh. And then the voice changed. You need to come to this meeting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, what's this all about? And I found out that I was being let go. But um, I will tell you this. And, and the head of HR, who was a, a lovely woman, <laughs> shared with me. And she was at the meeting. Um I had an apple in my hand. I guess I, guess I, I skipped lunch and I was starving. So huh. I ate I ate my apple throughout my exit interview and <laughs> and she said to me, Paul, you're eating an apple. I said, Yeah, I'm hungry. And she said, But this is your exit interview. You you seem quite comfortable. <laughs> comfortable enough to eat your apple. Yeah. And I thought, you know, I thought about that afterwards too. Um, I I was comfortable, I mean, unconsciously, I yeah. was comfortable. I, I must have expected it at some point. I must have welcomed it at some yeah, point. Yeah, you're ready for the next I, thing. I was not, I was not devastated. Like <laughs> yeah. I, I, I met my wife and another couple, and we had dinner, and I told them that I was just fired. They thought that was the funniest thing they'd ever heard. And I said, no, I'm deadly serious. And then they went into, oh, are you okay mode? And I said, yeah, yeah. I'm fine. Let's, let's, let's get some beers. Um, <laughs> yeah. So... Um, I think I did welcome it, to be honest. And, yeah. And I wasn't devastated. And and as you said, I, it was an easier mindset uh, to make plans. Um, I wasn't, you know, right. gnashing my teeth and biting my nails. So my, my plan was to go back and do some consulting because I, I, I had a great network. And, and now I had 40 years of experience. Yeah. Um, it didn't feel like something I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Um, but I did need to earn, I did need to, you know, generate. Some right. money. So I did that. And while I was doing that, I was, I, I, this is the time to start a business. If it's not yeah. now, it'll be never. And that's when I started sifting, sifting through information, things I heard, things I saw, you know, uh, conferences that I went to, I, I was making up my mind and uh, little by little by little, I you know, I kind of refined it down uh, to what my business is today. But, it, you know, it wasn't, um, you know, they say that aha moment, you know, the, yeah. 
It wasn't that. I mean, it was a slow, <laughs> organic grind yeah. uh, and that finally spit out an answer at the end. It took me two years to, to yeah. kind of. Really? Yeah. It took, it took two years to kind of land on, on what I really wanted to do.